once again uh welcome to a new problem uh, this time we have a bullet and a block so uh we're given we're given a, a scenario where uh we have a five gram bullet so massive bullet is five grams we're going to change that right away into kilograms and uh, we multiply by one kilogram of a thousand grams and that gives us um you know five five of a thousand which is zero point uh, zero zero five kilograms so this is this is a bullet that's moving that way and um there is a block <clears throat> there's a hanging block right here and the the bullet is going to collide with the block so this is kind of like uh the before scenario and think about this as an axis an extended axis you, you know you can even have uh the y-axis right there uh, the block itself has a mass of one kilogram it's a block of wood okay so we'll just call it mass of wood is 1.00 kilograms. So that's what's happening. Uh, we're also given that the initial velocity uh, of the block is going to be um, 450 meters per second. Um, so that's the information we're given. We're also given that once the bullet collides with the block, uh, something happens so the um uh this is this is the block right here so once once the bullet collides with the block uh the block is gonna be lifted up a new height um of 0 0.38 centimeters i mean that's pretty small displacement uh, but we have to expand it just to show what's happening right here uh, so the block gets lifted so right now um, if it happens to be here you can see that there's a change in height for the block so this uh, distance right here is 0 0.38 centimeters we can change that to meters by multiplying by uh, 0 0.38 centimeters times one meter of a hundred centimeters and this becomes a 0 0.0038 meters uh, the cent the center of gravity rises by the same amount, so 0 0.38 centimeters. The bullet is going to go inside the block, and uh, it comes out on the opposite side. So the bullet emerges on the opposite side. Initially, it was on this side, and then it goes on the other side. And we want to find, we want to find the final velocity of the bullet um given that the block will be moving it means that it's also going to have its uh remember the initial the initial velocity of the block uh the initial velocity of the block is zero meters per second and then the block also has a final uh, velocity once uh, you strike it but we don't know what the final velocity is and we also don't know what the final velocity of the bullet is uh, but we're going to find out the purpose of the problem is to solve for the final velocity uh, of the bullet as it comes out or the speed of the bullet as it comes out. So in the next page, we know that by the uh, law of conservation of energy, uh, law of conservation uh, of energy, you know, I think we have to go back and, and you know, we're interested in finding the final velocity of the of the wooden block, and that's going to help us with the law of conservation of energy. So uh, the uh, kinetic energy of the wooden block, um, 
So the initial kinetic energy plus the initial potential energy equals to the final uh, kinetic energy of the wooden block plus the final uh, uh, potential energy of the wooden block. We know that the initial height is zero, so this one was, is just going to be zero. Uh, the uh, final kinetic energy also is going to be zero because as the block rises, its uh, final velocity will be zero. So these two are zero. So then we have a one-half mass of wooden block uh, velocity, uh, initial velocity, of wooden block squared equals to mass of wooden block g and final height of wooden block and so we're supposed to solve for this this velocity we're supposed to solve for, for this velocity um, i think we have to change some numbers here the final velocity of the wooden block is zero meters per second uh, what we don't know is the initial velocity of the wooden block so that's what we need in this case uh, remember, it swings. So initially, uh, we don't know what that velocity is, but we know that it's going to swing up until it gets to a certain height, and then it stops. So we need to find this initial velocity. And so um, we solve for that. Vi squared equals to multiply both sides by uh, 2, and then divide both sides by the mass of the wooden block. Uh, these two cancel out, and these two cancel out, those two cancel out. And we're left with uh, G final height uh, twice. And so the initial velocity of the block is just what I call 2G, uh, the, the final height. And remember, the final height is this one right here. This is the final height of the block. Um, so we have that. And then uh, in the next page, we'll use the law of conservation of momentum. Our goal is to find the final speed of the bullet. So law of conservation uh, of momentum uh, says that the initial momentum uh, equals to the final momentum. Uh, the initial momentum involves the bullet and the block, so the mass of the bullet times the initial velocity of the bullet plus the mass of the wooden block times the um, uh, times the initial velocity of the wooden block, and this is, you know, before it, 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 uh, um, it starts moving. So there are two components. Uh, I think we should call this before motion. Initial velocity before motion, and this is an initial velocity after motion. And so we have initial velocity one and initial velocity two. That's for the wooden block. You know, we want to be uh, very careful about that process. And so this one was actually the initial velocity two. You know, this is the initial uh, velocity after collision. So after they collide, you know, that's going to be the initial velocity. So, you know, we go back and, and say the uh, initial, the first initial velocity, uh, this is obviously going to be zero. As you can see, if you go back, you see that this is zero. And then uh, we make that equal to the mass of the bullet. You know, we're looking for this uh, motion there. So mass of bullet. And the final velocity of the bullet after it comes out and then we have the mass of the wooden block uh, times the uh, initial velocity of the wooden block but this is the second initial velocity not the first initial velocity so you have to make that distinction uh, our goal is to solve for this number right here so we're going to move this one to the left we're going to move the mo momentum of the wooden block when it's initially moving to the left and so we have mass uh, mb vb final equals to mass of bullet velocity of bullet initial minus 
mass of wooden block, velocity of wooden block initial. These are the two momentums. Uh, we're subtracting them from each other. Uh, and then, of course, the you know next part of, of the problem is that um, uh, we'll divide uh, we'll divide everything by um, uh, we'll divide everything by by the mass of the the bullet. So by the mass of the bullet, like that. Okay, so uh, we're dividing everything by the mass of the bullet, and then in the next page to get the final. So we'll just want to make sure final velocity of the bullet becomes equal to. Uh, notice these two numbers are going to cancel out the mass of the bullet and this mass of the bullet. So we're left with the simplified part of the problem, uh, VBI minus uh, mass of wooden block of a mass of bullet times the um, second initial velocity of the block when it's swinging. Remember, initially the block is like right there. Okay, so its initial velocity before it swings is just zero meters per second. And then when the block starts to swing, it has kind of like another initial velocity because eventually once uh, it swings, it's going to come to a stop. Okay, so this is kind of like its final uh, velocity, and this is the initial when it starts to swing. That's why we're calling it subscript 2. This is the initial uh, uh, before any impact, you know, before any impact. So we call it 1. Uh, next thing, we plug in the numbers. So we have 450. So this one is this one is uh, going to be the initial velocity of the bullet minus mw over mb. Uh, we did solve for the second initial velocity of the bullet, of the block, which is 2g h f radical. Okay, final. And so, you know, we have 450 meters per second minus 1 kilogram over... Uh, the mass of the bullet, remember, was 0 0.005 kilograms, and then radical 2 times 9.8 meters per second squared um, times the height, which happens to be 0 0.0038 meters. So that's, that's what we have right there. And then when we simplify the problem, this involves a lot of decimals, so we have to be very careful about all the steps. Uh, we have, let's see, we're going to have 1 divided by 0 0.00, oh wait, 1 divided by 0 0.005, and then multiply that by this radical, which is 2 times 9.8 times 0 0.0038. Um, then we have to subtract 450. So we get uh, the final speed of the bullet becomes equivalent to 395.42 meters per second. So this is this is what's happening to this problem. Just as a recap, you know, we have a block and a bullet. The bullet is fired through the block. It pushes it up. So the block gains some type of um, momentum. Kinetic energy becomes potential energy, final potential energy. We use that to simplify the initial velocity of the block when it starts to swing up. Of course, the final velocity of the block when it's swinging is going to be zero. Um, and then we use the law of conservation of momentum, momentum of the system before collision and then after collision. And that gives us the uh, final velocity of the block. Hope you enjoyed the problem. Uh, feel free to ask any question, uh, send questions my way, and have a wonderful day. Okay, thanks. Bye.